Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Joseph Jenkins Roberts Joseph Jenkins Roberts was born on the 15th of March, 1809. He was a born free citizen in Norfolk, Virginia, United States, the second child of seven children of his father. His father was said to be a planter of Welsh origin and mother Amelia, described as a mulatto, the planter's slave mistress who was freed at a young age before Joseph was born. Joseph Roberts and his siblings were referred to be the seven-eighths ancestry European lineage. He was described as one born free of a mother whose background could be traced to Africa. Classed as a person of color through his Virginia ethnicity, though looked more like a white man. After his mother gained freedom, she was married to a free black man, James Roberts, who was a successful boat merchant on James River. The family then moved to Petersburg, where free people of color resided. As a boy, Joseph began to work in his stepfather's business, handling goods on a flat boat that transported materials from Petersburg to Norfolk, Virginia, on the James River. After a while, his stepfather James Roberts died, but his business didn't die as Joseph continued to do the family's business while serving as an apprentice in a barber shop owned by William Coulson, a minister and one of Virginia's best educated black residents. He allowed Joseph access his private library, which provided much of his early education. When he was only 19, the love story began as he met his 18-year-old lover girl named Sarah, who brought him a son before he did migrate to Liberia under the watch of the American Colonization Society. He moved to Liberia in 1829 with his family, wife and child, mother and siblings alongside Spriggs Payne, who went on to become a leader and Liberia's fourth elected president. In 1830, his wife Sarah and the boy died at their new residence in Liberia, caused by the alarming rate of bacteria and insects rocking the African continent then. It took him a while to heal from this loss before he got married again to Jane Rose Waring, the daughter of Colston Waring, who also migrated from Virginia to Monrovia, Liberia. Before migrating to Liberia, he was a successful businessman as he had established a company alongside William Nelson Colson, the company named Roberts Colson & Company, a partnership that continued to boom even when he moved to Liberia. In 1835, Colson also joined Joseph in Liberia but unfortunately died shortly after his arrival. Yet the company expanded into coastal trade under Joseph Roberts' watch, making the Roberts family successful members of the local establishment. One of the major reasons for migrating was because he couldn't live as a complete free man in the United States as there was restriction on free Negroes. They were prohibited from having equal education, voting, right to arms, worshipping or gathering without a white supervision, and other social constraints. By 1832, Joseph Jenkins Roberts became a well-known African-American merchant who established a trading import and export firm in the capital of Liberia, Monrovia, which was highly populated. In 1833, his presence began to evolve in politics as he became the high sheriff of the colony, saddled with the responsibility of sending militias to travel to the interior to collect taxes from the indigenous people and put down their raids against areas under colonial rule. The American Colonization Society found him faithful to his course as a high sheriff, then appointed Joseph Roberts as vice governor in 1839. Two years later, the sudden death of Governor Thomas Buchanan was confirmed in 1841 and Joseph Roberts was appointed the first American black governor of Liberia. In 1846, 
he championed the motion in the legislative house to declare the independence of Liberia, but also maintain cooperation with the American Colonization Society. The legislature called for a referendum in which a two-third majority chose independence. It was a remarkable day on the 26th of July, 1847, when a group of 11 delegates from the United States declared Liberia's independence. Joseph Roberts won the first presidential election on the 5th of October, 1847, and was sworn into office on the 3rd of January, 1848, with Nathaniel Brander as vice president. His six years in office was structured basically on development and recognition as the borders of Liberia was expanded along the coast with attempts to assimilate the indigenous people surrounding Monrovia into the America Liberia culture, basically through education and religion. Joseph Roberts spent the first few years of his presidency with the aim of gaining independence recognition from the United States where it was opposed mainly by southern congressmen. In 1884, he sailed to Europe, met with Queen Victoria and other heads of state. The United Kingdom was the first nation to recognize Liberia as an independent state. After a while, France also did. In 1849, he rigorously sought to eat that German cities of Hamburg, Bremen and Lübeck also recognized the new nation same as Portugal, Brazil, the Kingdom of Sardinia, and the Austrian Empire. Other countries like Norway, Sweden, Haiti, and Denmark also followed suit around 1863 to 1864. He stepped down from office in 1856, afterwards joined the military, served as a major general in the Liberian army, and he also served as a diplomatic representative of the nation to France. The United States finally recognized Liberia as an independent nation on the 5th of February, 1862, during the presidential reign of Abraham Lincoln, so slavery was abolished in Washington, D.C. In 1862, he co-founded Liberia College in Monrovia, where he served as its first president until 1876. Joseph Roberts traveled frequently to the United States to raise funds for the college. Until his death, he was regarded as professor of jurisprudence and international law. He then came back to attain perfection as he was re-elected the seventh president of Liberia on the 1st of January, 1872, later stepped down on the 3rd of January, 1876. Joseph Jenkins Robert is widely described as a talented leader with diplomatic skills. His leadership skills was instrumental in the independence and sovereignty of Liberia. He died on the 24th of February, 1876, in Monrovia, Liberia, barely two months after his final term as president. In his will, he left $10,000 and his estate to the educational system of Liberia. Till date, Liberia still celebrates March 15 as a national holiday in his memory. What have we missed out of this biography of Robert? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.